This is the best food city in America. It's New Orleans. I've been to about 74 countries around the world to this day, and hands down, New Orleans has some of the best food out here. But not only is it the best food city in America, it's also one of the most eventful cities in America. They are hosting Super Bowl in 2025. They host Essence Festival every single year. They also host the largest and most famous Mardi Gras celebration in the United States. In this video, I'm gonna share with you top places to eat and top things to do in New Orleans. So when you go, you have an incredible time. All right guys, so I'm here at Little Dizzy's. This is one of the most popular places out here in New Orleans. This is where you can get some of the best Creole soul food. So come here inside. It's a family spot and they've been cooking the same recipe for years. And you could tell because they have Creole food down pat. I had the catfish with sweet potatoes and green beans and a side of crab cakes and it was incredible. This restaurant has so much history and just sitting there for a few minutes, you could tell it's one of New Orleans staples because the people just keep rolling in. And it's also located in Temi, which is the oldest African-American neighborhood in the United States. So another New Orleans staple is Duke Chase. Listen, this is one of the most famous restaurants here in New Orleans. It's not just a famous restaurant, but it's actually one of the most popular tourist attractions when you come to New Orleans. So follow me. I'm going to take you guys inside. Let's go. This is another New Orleans staple. It's a family owned business that's been around since 1940s. The Disney movie Princess and the Frog was inspired by the late chef Leah Chase, which is who starred this restaurant. Many presidents and celebrities eat here. Even activists used to meet here during the civil rights movement. When you're at this restaurant, you realize there's art everywhere. You literally feel like you're walking in a museum and the food here is absolutely incredible this place is a must when visiting new orleans and number three you should eat at maro's this is another new orleans staple i know i sound like a broken record by now but there's so many new orleans staples here this is owned by the maro group this is a family-owned business and this group they actually own several other restaurants in the new orleans area they serve new orleans cuisine and authentic korean dishes they are also known for their brunch my advice to you is to get a reservation ahead of time because there was a line outside when I was there and this place is on high demand. Number four, you should eat brunch at Addie's Ethiopian Kitchen. This is literally the best Ethiopian restaurant in New Orleans. Whether you've eaten Ethiopian food before or not, I would highly recommend this place because I know sometimes for people that aren't too open-minded when it comes to trying different food. Man, I'm just pinching them like that. The shrimp is gonna be placed perfectly on there. Ethiopian food, you may or may not know how good it is, but this restaurant is a vibe and they offer New Orleans dishes as well. Eating here was one of the best meals that I had while being in New Orleans. I got the full Ethiopian style platter with the whole snapper. Chef's kiss, this food here was incredible. And number five, of course, when you're in New Orleans, you have to eat a benet. And one of the best places to get a benet in New Orleans is Cafe du Mundi. If you don't know what a benet is, it's like a sweet, soft, and light fried donut with powdered sugar. I'm not really a sweet person, but it was really good. And it's something that you have to try when you're in New Orleans. Number six, you should eat at Gris Gris, and I'm gonna take you guys with me inside. It was a last minute recommendation for me, so I didn't really know what to expect because I didn't look it up. But this restaurant at the first floor, it features a dining counter that wraps around the kitchen for a really intimate experience with the chef and the kitchen staff. They offer Southern dishes and New Orleans favorites. I got the whole snapper and let me tell you something, in true Jamaican fashion, I ate this snapper down to the bone because that's how good it was. It was so well seasoned and well put together. I'm still thinking about it. I can go on and on and on about all the different places that I I've eaten in New Orleans, but out of all the places I've eaten at, these were my top choices and the best places during my time in New Orleans. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these restaurants. Next, let's get into the top things you should do. Number seven, you should go to Jam Nola. Jam Nola is an immersive museum that showcases the culture of New Orleans. You get to enjoy 17 exhibits celebrating the iconic art, music, food, and theatrics of New Orleans through the eyes of 30 plus local artists and 
creative partners. If you wanna get to New Orleans, you should go to Jam Nola. Number eight, you should go kayaking in the Manshack Swamp with alligators. I know this is different and I know what you're thinking. This may sound crazy, but you feel safe the whole time. It's actually really peaceful and relaxing experience where you get to learn about the natural outdoors outside the hustle and bustle of New Orleans while being able to catch a couple alligators while kayaking all through. Number nine, you should visit the St. Louis Cathedral. It is the oldest continuously active Roman Catholic Church in the United States. It's one of New Orleans most famous landmarks. It's right by the French quarters so you can walk right on over from one of the most popular neighborhoods in New Orleans. At number 10, you have the French Quarters. This is one of the most historical and popular neighborhoods in New Orleans. This area is a must visit. Here you can find a lot of restaurants, bars. It's really famous for its nightlife and those balconies where you may have heard people get beads thrown from. No, if you've never heard of it, well, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost impossible to come to New Orleans and not visit Burma Street in the French quarters. It's always active. There's no shortage of things to do here. The hotel I stayed at during my time in New Orleans was at the Four Seasons. Now this hotel is more on the pricier side, but if you like luxury, you'll certainly love this property. If you're not familiar with the Four Seasons, this is a five-star hotel brand, and this particular property was located downtown. It's near a lot of major landmarks, so you're literally within walking distance or a really short Uber drive away. All right, guys, so officially checked in. Now I'm going to show you the room. Come on, follow me. You got a nice tub here, nice little coffee and tea section here. I'm here with the New Orleans tourism board. So they actually uh, left some gifts here, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, coolers and booklets but i'm not gonna bore you guys with this stuff i'm excited about this stuff actually that's pretty cool comfy bed let's look comfy bed that gives you an amazing view of the river in the lobby they have this incredible chandelier bar the chandelier above the bar is truly a sight to see so whether you're a guest or not at this hotel, I would encourage you going to the chandelier bar to at least grab a drink. So this is why you should go to New Orleans. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Also, let me know in the comments if you've been to New Orleans. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Let's go.